this is some new work mm -hmm. that just came in today. Mm -hmm. You won't see these anywhere else. Wow. Wow. You haven't even put them out I yet. No, I haven't put them out. They're not priced, they're not labelled, they haven't even gone out yet. Fantastic. And, and who are they? Who, who does them? And... They're my, made by Celia Blair. One of my staff members. Is it? <laughs> yes. Everybody here has done a fine art degree or is creative in some way, and we all create. And this is what Celia does. Fantastic. I've got a history of art degree from Edinburgh uh, University, and I'm also a trained conservator of uh, oil paintings. So with my other hand. When, when customers come in the door, because we're passionate about what we sell, and we love having it in our own homes, and it comes across, I think, that enthusiasm. Mm. Think how, how my staff spend most of their wages on, oh, on work. It's a dangerous from place to work. <laughs> <laughs> and your earrings. Yes, earrings mm. too. Yeah. Joanna Strachan earrings. So is what, do you get paid in kind as opposed to any wages? It might feel like that, but no, it shouldn't be that <laughs> way they, around. they owe me money. <laughs> 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 we have a box. It's a box. <laughs> we have a box at the back that's almost permanently full of all the things that we want to buy, especially at Christmas when it Gets yeah. this, this is this is the staff goodie box. This is all the stuff they've got on reserve waiting to pay for. <laughs> the beauty is, you see, we get first pay. These cards are made by Celia's daughter, Gabrielle, who's at um, St Andrews University doing art history at the moment. Um, I worked here, I did a work experience when I was in fourth mm -hmm. year of secondary school, mm -hmm. and I've just kept on working. I'm at university now, um, but still come back. And what are you doing at university? I do art history. <laughs> Cards here made by another member of my staff, Rochelle, who did a degree in um, art at um, Aberdeen. Mm. Four cards. This is one now. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, these are the packs. Come on there, Rochelle, tell us about them. You know, do you make these? Yeah, I made them. What inspired you? Why did you make them? Come Working on. here is really inspiring. This, I drew it first and then I printed it on the paper using my printer at home. And then I watercolored them and then cut them out so it looks like they're flying. <laughs> Degree in visual communications from Graves School of Art in Aberdeen mm -hmm. and then uh, I ran out of money so I had to come home. <laughs> 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 and then I got a job here so it was great. <laughs> and how long have you worked here? Just a year. Mm -hmm. I'm really new and there's so much to learn as well. <laughs> yeah, it's great to learn the business side of art because you don't really get taught that in university. Yeah. So yeah, it's really fun. These are Christmas cards by Juliet and she did a, a course in photography. And, and she's a staff member? She's a staff member, yes. Handmade porcelain heart by John Bauer that has come all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. And he has an interest in crochet and knitting and he collects those sort of fabrics and impresses the design into his porcelain hearts. Wow. And they're only three pounds, totally handmade and only three pounds. And do you sell many of them? Lots. Of Last year, mm -hmm. Uh, this artist, Emma Burt, gave us some ceramic Santas for Christmas and she also does some larger bears and my customers said, well why doesn't she do small bears as Christmas decorations? So we put that to Emma and lo and behold, this year, three small bears for Christmas decorations. Fantastic. This artist here, Natalie Aird, local artist, she used, she still does make um, bowls and clocks mm -hmm. and we said to her, why don't you try glass Christmas decorations? Mm -hmm. That was last year and lo and behold this year we have got her glass, glass Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. Caroline Temple and since we've had her work we've sold lots of it and my staff keep buying it. 